Cotton is IKEA's second biggest raw material. We were really amazed about how bad the situation was with cotton and the situation for the farmers, which is not in line with the values that we are carrying as a company. There are 300 million people whose livelihood is attached with this crop. And the farmers are very poor. Cotton consumes a lot of chemicals. Cotton is grown in areas which are already water stressed, where the rivers have already been polluted. So let's do something about the problem. IKEA is embracing a better way to produce cotton. Working together with partners has enabled more than 100,000 cotton farmers to significantly reduce the use of water, chemical pesticide, and fertilizer, while increasing their own health and earnings, and making a much smaller footprint on the environment. And very soon, all the cotton we use will be produced this way. I think uh, WWF and IKEA have many shared values. So for us, it's quite natural to cooperate with them. And IKEA created a demand. IKEA literally asked their suppliers that we want you to use better cotton in the articles that you supply to us. We started very small, working with a few hundred of farmers. I was compared with throwing a stone in the water and it's rippling out. People get enthusiastic about it and want to be part of it. But it also has a social aspect where we look into working conditions, the working hours, how they treat women and so on. So improving all these things, that is for us what Better Cotton is about. There are social challenges. Child labor is one. And we are constantly working for the many children living in poverty by creating programs that support the families overall and help prevent children from working in cotton factories and fields. Through the IKEA Foundation, we work closely with UNICEF and Save the Children to give at least 16 million children in cotton growing communities better opportunities in life. <laughs> Now, as part of the project, we ensure that they go to school. Of course, many of the farmers working in the cotton fields are literate and they can't read and write. But there are very good support organizations out there, and WWF is one of them. All those basic things are taught in these resource centers and farmer field schools. <laughs> Cotton supply chain is very long, is very complex, from the farms to the ginning, spinning, weaving, knitting, processing. We do have a tradition that we have worked many, many years with our code of conduct, with our suppliers, which we call iWay, where we improve social conditions and working conditions within our factories and our sub-suppliers. We are also looking into environmental things, especially in the neighborhood around the factory. Both the organization were also, you know, in discussion to start a global initiative, a kind of a multi-stakeholder initiative, which is supported by all the relevant key stakeholders in this industry. IKEA and WWF helped in setting up PCI Better Cotton Initiative. There are like 300 companies who control the production and the trade. We have to work with these big companies. Companies like Marks & Spencer, Levi's, H&M, Adidas, Nike, Walmart. So all these leading global brand and retailers, around 200 manufacturers, producer organizations, NGOs, became members of BCI and started supporting this global initiative. And our vision for 2020 is that Better Cotton makes up 30% of global cotton production. We'll be working with 5 million farmers worldwide and we'll bring benefits to more than 20 million people in primary production. We expanded to Mali and Mozambique. Now we are working in China, in Brazil. We have three key principles. The first principle is collaboration. There is no one player that can transform a sector that spans some 80 countries employing tens of millions of people. The only way of doing it is together with all involved. 
And the second principle is that we built a system where there is no premium built in that gets passed through the supply chain. Instead, a retailer and brands can connect to a system where they are allowed to invest directly at the farm level. The third principle is around being pragmatic and realistic. We have a baseline that is challenging but achievable. And then there are requirements for everyone to get better every year as we move towards full sustainability. For me, uh, it's like a dream coming true. Our goal is that all cotton used in IKEA products will come from sustainable farmers. And we know that we will reach that goal. Yes, we look to the future, but the impact is now. And we really want to inspire other partners, other companies, other stakeholders to embrace this chance and really work together and try to make a difference because we all have a responsibility. We are the cause of it and we can improve it and we can take it away.